Hi guys, um, I'm here doing a Q&A video. Remember I said I was going to do it in my coffee break video if I got uh, enough questions. Well, I didn't get like 25 or more, but I have some, so I figured I'm not going to ignore my subscribers that, you know, want to know something. So I'm going to answer them. So this is a Q&A video. Um, so we'll get started. Uh, let's see. I wrote them on paper. <laughs> so we got Vintage Girl says, Are you a boxing fan? If so, who is your favorite boxer? If not, what is your favorite sport? Not a boxing fan. I used to be. Like the Mike Tyson days. Yeah. Um, Holyfield. Yeah. But I haven't watched it in like forever. <laughs> So my favorite sport is baseball, and I have to say Yankees. Uh, she also asks, what is the best piece of life advice anyone ever gave you? I would have to say uh, not to dwell on my past. Um, it, you know, it can't be changed. Focus on the future. Uh, you know, take things as it happens. Uh, day by day, you know, don't dwell on stuff and stress yourself out. It is what it is, you know, like, you can't change the past, so why dwell on it? Why, you know, just move forward? You know, it is what it is, and there's nothing you can do about it except focus on your future and, you know, changing things that you didn't like or bettering yourself or whatever it is in the past that you want to, ch you know, change now, do it. Just do it. Don't dwell on it. Just plow through. <laughs> um, let's see, what was it? She had another question. What is your biggest guilty pleasure series or reality show? I have to say I love Teen Mom. I've been watching them forever since... 16 and pregnant. You now I love all of them. Janelle and, you know, that group. And, uh, yeah, they're, I just love Teen Mom. I could sit there and, you know, watch it forever. Um, I also enjoy Dance Moms, because those moms are crazy on there. They crack me up. <laughs> and I like watching the dancers, too, because, you know, they're good. There's so much drama on that show, I just... I watch it, you know. Um, I also like Pretty Little Liars and Vampire Diaries, you know, those shows, Switch at Birth, The Lion Game, which disappeared. <laughs> but, yeah, those are those are shows I'm into. I can't wait for them to come back. Resurrection, I love that one, too. If anybody's never seen that one, that's a good one. Resurrection, that's like your loved ones coming back after passing away. That's, like, amazing. It's just, you get so hooked on that show. Um, who was your favorite golden girl? I would have to say Sophia. The attitude on her was phenomenal. I, I love Sophia in the, from the Golden Girls. She's just great. She's awesome. I, I think I used to watch the show just for her comments. Because the way she just, she's a little sassy little, you know, old lady. It was just so funny. Um... And since you mentioned food and recipes, what is your go-to ingredient or seasonings you don't cook without? I would have to say I always reach for the garlic powder <laughs> and salt, pepper, you know, always reach for the garlic. That's the first thing I grab. And I hope I'm not like messing up people's names, but Camille Fla Flaquita, F-L-A-Q-U-I-T-A, I think I'm saying that right, uh, X, why did you start uh, making YouTube videos? I would have to say because my husband told me I needed a hobby. And I love makeup. So I figured I watched all these YouTube videos on people doing stuff. And I said, well, well why can't I try that and see what happens, right? see where it takes me. So here I am with you guys. <laughs> And I'm enjoying it. Um, 
Is there another question from her? No. Okay. So then makeup by, by Shay, who is my awesome friend on YouTube. She's awesome people. You got to go check her out. Makeup by Shay with two A's. She said, how long have you been married? This April will be 11 years. But I've known my husband since I'm 11 years old. <laughs> um, where did you meet your husband? I met him outside of a friend's house. I was hanging out on her stoop and he came driving by, yes, illegally. He was like 14. <laughs> and I was 11. And yeah. Kept like, you know, driving by, driving by, looking, driving by, looking. And I'm like, I did not like him at all at first for like years. I was like, like every time I saw him, he would try to talk to me through the years until I hit 16. And then I was like, interested but before that I used to like hear him coming because he had like this loud system in his car and I would duck into like a doorway because I didn't want him to see me because then he would talk to me and I couldn't stand him isn't that funny it's weird man I was like ew I don't like him I just didn't like him I don't know why not that he wasn't good looking I just didn't like him I don't know and then when I turned 16 it changed and then we were on and off on and off on and off you know through the years until I was about 23, and we've been together ever since. I would say 23, yeah. Uh, what else? Uh, yeah. mm, did you meet your husband? Uh, would you ever move from New York, she asks. Um, I guess I would, even though it would be uncomfortable, you know, because I've been in New York all my life. Um, I'm from Brooklyn, and then, you know, I lived in Sheepset Bay and all that, Canarsie, and then I moved out here to Long Island, and this was a little tragic for me the first month I moved here. Um, just being away from Brooklyn it was weird. It was so quiet out here compared to living, you know, with the cars and the people everywhere, and just, you know, it was so cluttered like and out here it's so quiet and laid back and I wasn't used to it like especially at night it's dead quiet you know so it was crickets I was like what the hell is that I had to get used to it you know so we're thinking about moving to Florida we still have to see with that uh with the job interview the other day I mentioned in my coffee video uh things supposedly went well so we'll see where that takes us but we'll probably wind up going there if everything works out uh, let's see, Isabel Doyle asks, what is your favorite TV show that you could just binge on? I would have to say Teen Mom. Like, I could just keep watching episode after episode after episode after episode after episode because I am, I love that show. Teen Mom, I love that show. Um, Life with Yummy asks, why did you start your YouTube channel? And like I said, I like to have something to do. Uh... And I love doing it. I love makeup. So, yeah. This is why I started my channel. And it's growing. And I'm happy that I decided to do this. For everybody. I'm glad you're enjoying it. And thanks for all my new subs I got. I really, really appreciate it. I can't believe how far I've gotten. The last video I said I was almost at 2. And now I think I'm like 225. Like, it just... It's amazing. Like, I'm... All the comments. I got like a hundred and something comments on my coffee video. And I'm like, <sighs> like, I feel like so, I don't know. I feel like so happy about it. You know, that everybody's so interested in what I'm doing and you're enjoying it. And I'm enjoying it, answering, you know, your comments and stuff. It's, I, I really like this. This is like a good thing we got here, guys. Um... What do you like about being on YouTube? Oh, she also asks, what do you like about being on YouTube? I like the people that I've met, the friends that I've made. Um, watching your videos, you know, seeing your comments about my videos. I, I appreciate all your input and your comments to me. Um, it's just amazing. Like, it's like a whole new world with YouTube. A whole new world. <coughs> Excuse me. And I just, I'm enjoying it. Uh, 
Okay, so the last question is, if, and this is by the same girl, if you were stuck on an island and could only wish for three things, what would it be? I would have to say makeup, YouTube access, and a cell phone. Pretty crazy, huh? <laughs> yeah, so I didn't get that many questions. I got like 14. But I said, okay, I didn't get at least 25. But I was like, so what does that mean? I'm not going to answer my, you know, my subscribers' questions just because, you know. So I figured there was... It was enough because you doubled it up and whatever, and it's, you know, a few questions. So I figured I'm not going to ignore it, you know, got to answer you guys, you know. Um, and I waited longer than the three days. It's actually, I think, five days. So I said, all right, now it's time to, you know, answer these questions. So I did that. Uh, yeah, so that's the end of my Q&A video, guys. Um... I hope you enjoyed it, and thank you for subscribing to my channel. I love you all. Leave any comments down below, and I will see you in my next video, which will probably be my coffee break. I figured I would do that once a week, make it a series on my channel. So that's what you're going to see now also once a week coffee break video, where I just sit here and have coffee and chat with you guys. Um, I figured once a week is good enough because, you know, how much could happen in like two days, I wouldn't have much to talk about, so I figured I'd wait. A week so I should be doing that tomorrow hopefully I can get that up there for you guys so I'll be looking out for that coffee break video tomorrow okay guys nice talking to you and I'll see you in my next video like and subscribe bye guys